Welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. In this class, we are going to discuss 10 must to watch biology MCQs for Karnataka TET and these questions we can say are super important. Many of these questions are most expected questions and you can also expect one exact question in the exam this time. So just uh, don't uh, take this video lightly. This is a very important video and uh, Try to understand each and every question. Friends, I know that uh, maximum aspirants from uh, uh, maths and science field have PM methodology. That means uh, the aspirants have uh, studied physics and maths. There are more such aspirants when compared to chemistry and biology. But in Karnataka TET, remember that you will have physics, chemistry and biology, all three things in science part, right? And now though, because of the new syllabus in Karnataka TET, things have become little bit more tougher for you all. So, aspirants should keep in mind that uh, chemistry and biology is not tough. You have read all this in your PUC also, right? So remember, don't memorize biology. You need to understand the process behind every concept. You don't need to have a degree in biology to write a Karnataka TET exam with the biology portion. Because biology is in our life, right? Our body itself is a part of biology, right? So friends, this is the biggest mistake many of you make. You treat biology in the way of rote learning. What is rote learning? It is like by hearting, right? So, this time TET biology is up to PUC level which means that your concept understanding is important here. So, just don't remember terms and just don't think that you will just be able to answer biology questions simply like that. You need to understand how and why things are happening in living systems. You need to understand the process. Then only you will be able to answer any type of question even if it is application based from biology. Okay, so you have to focus on the mechanisms like, like for example, let's talk about photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, you should understand how light energy is converting into chemical energy. You should understand how photosynthesis is actually related to respiration and how is energy is flowing uh, in ecosystems here. You need to know the uh, diagrams because if you know the diagrams and if you understand the labels, you can easily answer some of the questions, especially in photosynthesis. Okay, so these are the things which will help you. So in biology, just think like uh, you should prepare in such a way that you should be able to explain what you have read. Okay, so if you can explain it, it means that you can score in it. It is like that. Okay, so in this class, we will be uh, discussing a list of 10 most expected biology questions from our new syllabus part and uh, uh, these are the must learn MCQs I can say. So let us start the class. The question is, what is the basic unit of classification in biology? Options are kingdom, class, species and family. Here the question is that you should tell which is the basic unit. Basic unit means the ground level unit. It is a species. If you know about the classification in biology, there will be a ulta triangle uh, where in the classification start with the species and it ends with kingdom. Take it as an assignment and learn the units of classification one by one in order. Okay, it is very important. Next question. Which tissue type is responsible for transmitting impulses in the body? The options which they have given are muscular, nervous, epithelial and connective tissue. So here you should note down that the tissue which is responsible for transmitting impulses in the body is a nervous tissue. Okay, because see transmitting impulse means it should be related to our nerves only, right? With that logic also you can give the correct answer to this question. Okay, so the answer is option B, nervous tissue. Next question, this is also a very important question. Where does photosynthesis occur in plant cells? The options which they have given here are mitochondria, ribosomes, chloroplast and nucleus. See all the four options are the parts of a cell, okay, of a plant cell. 
here you should give the uh, option where in the part where the photosynthesis is happening in plant cell so to answer this question you should be knowing the process of photosynthesis that is uh, uh, it is the process where the food is prepared by plants in the presence of sunlight and uh, they use chlorophyll and the place in the plant cell where this photosynthesis happens is a chloroplast okay the word chloro should also give you indication because we are talking about sunlight and chlorophyll for preparation of food the, the process is photosynthesis so chloro should also give you indication to the correct answer for this type of a question okay next question what process involves the movement of water through a plant from roots to leaves so the options which they have given are very interesting translocation transpiration photosynthesis and respiration the question is that you should know the process which is involving the movement of water through a plant from roots to leaves the correct answer to this question is a transpiration okay now here you should know what is translocation what is photosynthesis and what is respiration also photosynthesis to we have already told you now you should look out for what is a translocation and respiration when we talk about plants okay respiration will also uh, give you a clue because uh, in humans also respiration means uh, taking in and uh, uh, throwing out the air right so respiration will also be easy only for you now you take assignment uh, to know about what is actually translocation okay transpiration is movement of water through plant from roots to leaves then what is translocation that you should take it as a assignment because it is a very important point and it can be asked in your exam okay another question what is the primary function of red blood cells so what is the main function of red blood cells the options which they have given are defense against pathogens blood clotting transporting oxygen digesting food so here the correct answer will be transporting oxygen okay it is a very very important point you should know that the main function of red blood cells is to transport oxygen in our body okay how do they transport they transport from heart to the rest of our body okay next important question what type of plants produce seeds but do not have flowers the options which they have given are ferns gymnosperms algae and bryophytes see in options they have not given angiosperms so there is no need of any confusion here if there was gymnosperm and angiosperm in the option then you should have uh, getting some confusion about which is the type of plant which is producing seed but not flowers here you don't have that confusion right so the correct answer is a gymnosperms because these are the plants which produce seeds but they do not have flowers whereas angiosperms are those type of plants which are having flowers okay clear right and now you take it as a assignment to know about all the important points related to what are ferns algae and bryophytes okay next important question which of the following is a characteristic of mammals cold blooded lay eggs have feathers produce milk see very important point uh, is that the mammals character is that they produce milk very important it is and we human beings also come under mammals only okay another most expected question this is from a reproduction the question is where does fertilization usually occur in the female reproductive system ovary uterus stomach fallopian tube so which is the correct answer here see the fertilization is occurring in female in a fallopian tube okay it is usually a fallopian tube okay it is a very important point another question this is also a most expected question this time which enzyme is used to cut dna at specific sequence so the options are 
डीएनए पॉलीमरेज आरएनए पॉलीमरेज लाइगेज रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम इट इज आल्सो नोन एज अ मॉलिक्यूलर सीजर व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू कट डीएनए एट वन पर्टिकुलर सीक्वेंस ओके सो हियर यू शुड नो व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डीएनए व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आरएनए ओके एंड यू ट्राई टू नो मोर अबाउट रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम टेक इट एज ए असाइनमेंट ओके another important question what hormone promotes the ripening of fruits so i am expecting this question uh, this time this is also a very important question so the four options are uh, the names of the hormones only auxin gibberellin cytokinin and ethylene but the hormone which is uh, uh, having the characteristic of uh, ripening the fruits means it is actually helping the fruits to ripen is uh, ethylene okay so nowadays uh, what these uh, uh, fruit sellers do they take the unripe the fruits they take, keep it in one room and uh, they artificially sprinkle this ethylene on them and then the fruits get ripened okay now you should know what is the work of uh, auxin gibberellin and uh, cytokinin take it as a assignment okay so all these are hormones okay another question what is the main gas responsible for the greenhouse effect this is also one of the most important question and it has been asked multiple times in different manner in tet also so you should tell me the correct answer for this question in the comment section the options given are nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and helium okay i'll be happy to know your answers in the comment section okay friends these were the most important questions from biology and i really hope that uh, this discussion helps you in your exam okay then i really hope that you all are preparing for your exam nicely thank you all the best bye